Hi, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools, and I want to show you the new version of Lightning Forms. Lightning Forms is a tool that allows you to customize the SharePoint list and library forms throughout your SharePoint environment. And what we've done recently is being able to improve that experience by also supporting modern forms. So what we're going to do is go into a simple scenario where I've got two lists that we've already created. One of them is called expense reporting and the other one is called expense items. And what I'd like to have is the employees within inside my organization can submit their expenses in an easy way where they can just simply provide the heading information inside the expense report along with the itemized expenses within inside the same form. So first of all, what we'll do is go into the expense reporting list and you'll notice that when I click onto new, we get the new panel appearing on the right hand side where we can go through and complete this form in order to create a new item and of course one of the benefits of the new modern form is the fact that the form is responsive and we're going to make sure that we can maintain that after the customization with lightning forms so to show you the other form in question we are going to go back to the site contents and we're going to open up expense items which as we go into that you'll see that we've got this view and once more as we click onto new we've got a title for the expense item a category so it can fit into travel entertainment or other as well as the amount to be claimed a tax amount and also a total so we're going to combine these two lists into one simple to use form so what we're going to do first of all is just go into the expense reporting list and we're going to launch the designer using this Lightning Forms customization dialog. And you'll notice here we've got the new form, the edit form and the display form, none of which have been customized yet. So what we're going to do is just start to customize the new form. So we'll click onto the customize button. And that will launch the design experience, which notice is integral to the SharePoint list itself. So being a contextual form designer means that it's easy to understand what the end result is going to look like. So what we can do first of all is change lots of different elements on this form. In the top left hand corner we've got the form settings. So we can change this to a small, medium, large or full screen form. I'm actually going to keep it the same on medium. We can also go through and configure each uh, row or we can add new sections if we want to. And we can also go through and add additional fields. So notice that we've got the different fields that make up this list uh, within inside the, uh, the field section. And as we scroll down, we've also got some other things as well, such as tabs, action buttons, toolbars, rich text areas, as well as other lists and libraries to embed on the same form. So in order to improve the layout a little bit, what we're going to do is add some tabs. So I've created the tabs at the top here, and we're just going to simply double click so that we can edit the label on the tab. I'm going to call this uh, expense report. And next to that, I'm going to add another tab, which uh, we're going to double click into that one as well. And we're going to change that one to read notes. So under the expense report tab, we'll just make sure that that is the selected tab. And now we can drag the other fields into that tab. So we have the, uh, the title, the report date, the employee, which is the person making the claim. We've got the, uh, the total as well as the manager. And under the notes tab is where I'm going to insert that notes rich text field as well. So we've got those two tabs. Uh, I'm also going to uh, remove this attachment section. So I want to remove that element from the form. So we've got an improved layout. And then at the bottom here, I'm also going to go through and add another section with a single column. And within inside that uh, column, we're going to insert the sublist. Now this sublist is going to be the expense items. So we'll drop that into the form. At the moment, SharePoint is completely unaware that these two lists are going to be linked. Uh, there's no lookup column or anything like that, uh, which we did have inside the classic version. That was a requirement of inserting a sublist. Uh, but now we can actually do all of that from within side Lightning Forms. So what I'm going to do is uh, tell Lightning Forms to use this as a sub item. And notice here it allows me to select a lookup column of which I don't have one. So I'm going to click the plus button to create a lookup column. And that lookup column then gets created on the fly. 
What we can also do is create new items from inside that sublist. So if I wanted to create, of course, new expense items, I can select which form is going to be used for that and likewise for the edit items as well. Um, and there's a few other sections that we have in here, such as the ability to show a command bar, to be able to show search, and also to be able to show header information inside that sublist. So we're going to OK that. And uh, the next thing we want to do is create some form of calculation that is going to take the items from the expense items sublist and create that as a total within inside my total field. So we're going to click onto the configure expressions link with inside that total field and notice how we've got lots of different expressions that we can add so we can add some validation with some validation text we can make this a required field we can calculate it we can set the initial default value or we can also enable it or make it invisible based upon some form of uh, calculation so what we want to do is come into the calculated section so we'll click onto the uh, configure expression for calculated and that will show me the expression builder. So what we're going to do is expand the sublist. Uh, this is my, uh, my sublist here. And we're going to take the, so we're going to take the total amount and sum that column. So we'll get the, uh, the sum from the total column. Okay, so that's going to be uh, calculated for us and put the result inside this total field just here. The other thing we're going to do is add a OK button to the form. So uh, what we can do is actually delete this save and cancel button. So we can uh, go through and remove that. And instead, I want to have my own kind of action button. So I'm going to click onto the plus again, uh, come down to the button with actions. So notice we get this OK button by default. And I'm going to add some simple actions to here. So first thing I want to do is save the form. Uh, I want another action, which is going to be to email the manager. And what we'll do is select the send mail action. And we can choose who that mail message is going to be sent from. And what I want to do is pick up an environment variable for that. So under the context objects, we can go down to the user and double click onto the email. So we get the current user's email. It's going to be sent to the manager, so we can go through and select a, a profile property for my manager. And we'll put the subject as expense claim. And of course, we could write a body here, so please approve my expenses. Okay, uh, we could then go through and add another action. And that other action that we want to add is a show message. So we're going to show a message here and we can choose the type of message. So we're just going to do a, a status message that displays for a few seconds and just say expenses submitted. And then the final action we're going to close the form. OK, so we now have our, our button. So what we want to do is, uh, is save the form design. So that's saved the configuration for me. So we can click onto OK. And now as we go back to our site contents and we go to our expense reporting. So once again, we can click onto new as we did before. And notice now how we have a new design to our form. So in here, we can fill that form out. So we'll have a trip to Prague, which is coming up just next week. We can select the date, the employee. So in fact, let's have uh, test user one. The total, we're going to uh, calculate that. So we'll have test user two in here and now I can start to submit some expense items as well so we'll click onto new and notice how that also opens up the new form and we'll have a meal out which is obviously going to be other 
and we'll have that as 100. We could, of course, total the text amount automatically as well. So let's just save that and notice how that gets written out to my form here as a sub item. And we can go through and create another one as well. So we'll have our flight, which is going to go into travel. And we can save that as well. And uh, these sub items are being written, which uh, saves us from going to two different lists all the time. And of course, we can go to that notes section. If we wanted to add any notes in here, we can uh, go through and edit those notes. We've got the nice uh, design experience for that as well. And let's click on to OK. And that will uh, go through, save our item, not just to this list, but also to the expense items list as well. So as we navigate to the expense items, we can see there's the uh, the two items written out to uh, to that one at the same time. Okay, so the only other thing to show you as well is the fact that the uh, the report is also responsive. So um, we've maintained that. So if we were working on a mobile device or something similar, what we'd do is just make this uh, a smaller screen, and you can see how that does also adjust accordingly to make it possible to, uh, to complete that form on a mobile device as well. Okay, thank you very much for watching.